This is Brad here at A&U, and I'm here with Ryan and Adam from ABC Canberra. And we were just talking about light and, and how there's more to light than we can see with our eyes. Yeah, that's exactly right. So in astronomy, we're pretty limited to studying light. And we need to scour every aspect of light we can. So we're all rather familiar with the rainbow and all the colors we see around us, telling us about how things are made. But there is also light outside of that rainbow. The visible spectrum only occupies a tiny patch of the entire light spectrum. So Ryan, one of the ones we hear about a lot is UV light or ultraviolet light. Now I think of that maybe with the sun and getting burnt, but how important is it to astronomy? It's a very important wavelength to study. So the reason we get sunburns is because ultraviolet light is a quite high energy wavelength. So it attacks our cells quite readily. But it's also very important for understanding high energy processes in the universe and uncovering things we didn't know before. So take my hand, for example. It looks like a perfectly normal hand until Adam here shines a UV torch. So what we find is, what do you see? Well, what looks to be a moon, a couple of galaxies even, plenty of stars as well. Yeah, so you didn't know that was there before looking in UV light. So this is a bit of information that was hidden from us with visible light. So by studying this, we can then apply it to real world cases. So take this galaxy, for example. This is a very big galaxy, uh, fairly close to us, but it's got something interesting going on. It's got lots of stars forming around its outer edge. And these stars are forming a very energetic process of matter all coming together. And that lights up those parts of the galaxy in ultraviolet light. So by using ultraviolet light, we can spot very energetic things like stars forming or even catastrophic explosions, uh, light years across the universe. So UV is an incredible, uh, incredibly important tool for studying astronomy.